All right, so I just decided to get on some Black Ops Cold War, play some Raid 24-7 playlist. It seems like the Raid 24-7 and the Nuketown are both just like sweatier than jumping into quick play and selecting the modes you want to play. Because every time I'm on Domination or Hardpoint on one of those two maps, it's like competitive as hell every single time. And if it's not people who are really playing the objective and it's a close like team game, it's just like the enemies are really, really sweaty or somebody's extremely campy. It's, it's just frustrating as hell. It's really ridiculous. But I just wanted to do a little commentary, talk about things uh, <clears throat> relating to Call of Duty and everything, just things that I've noticed. One thing, big thing, is that they're trying to basically use Warzone to sell Modern Warfare and Cold War. They don't even have the zombies camos from Cold War and Warzone, to my knowledge. I know that it's all just their different studios who are making these games and everything like that. But at the same time, a lot of the decisions that the companies are making in the first place, the development teams, etc., they're all making their decisions based off the command of Activision. So if Activision really wasn't just a bunch of suits in a boardroom, essentially, who don't even really play games. Because, I mean, the developers, those kind of guys, those people play games. But the people who are really, like, the board of directors and stuff like that, those guys don't play video games like that. They might play, like, some sports game with their kid or something every now and then or something, you know. But if, if that, I mean, let's be realistic. They're into other things but the thing is when you have these people who aren't it's the same thing like the music industry or like a, a lot of industries if you have somebody who's in charge and they really don't have their ear to the streets they're really not active with the community they're not gonna um they're not i hear you i hear you hold on they're not gonna be able to really give you the best product especially as good as somebody who's really into the shit passionately into the shit not just trying to milk it for money and that's the thing like I've said in previous videos and stuff the developers like they need to get more money when I Sit down, goddamn. Quit charging at me. Security. Sit down. The developers, when I, um, I just finished the storyline, story mode on Cold War today, and when I was looking at the credits at the end, it said QA testers, or QA department. I don't know if they outsource QA testing as well, but they only had, like, 12 people, 14 people, something like that, on the QA team doing the testing. So, I mean, goddamn, no wonder there's bugs and some shit. You only have that few people that you hired to test your game out and make sure that it's hitch-free. But anyways, uh, I'm just going to leave y'all with that thought. You know, do you think a game that's making billions of dollars should only have... 14 people or so that are working for the company to assure the quality of the product that's releasing to millions of people. You got 14 people in charge of that. That's kind of crazy to me. And I'm not sure if that's 14 people who are just in charge of the project for the story mode. It could be that. But if it's 14 people in charge of the thing for online as well or, or less, you know, that's really bad. That's a really bad look. That just goes to show how much money is really just being funneled into the pockets of these business owners and shit, you know. And they're basically just kicking back on their yachts and shit. Raking in the cash. But anyways, everybody have a good one. I'll leave y'all with that. Let the gameplay roll. And everybody have a happy holidays.
Stay safe. Stay warm. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Secure the objective. Securing A. Alpha locked out. Enemy took charge. Losing Alpha. Counter spy plane midway to the check complete. Enemy appears KIA. Losing Bravo. Losing C. CIA, no muss, no fuss. <laughs> they weren't so tough. Threat neutralized. <laughs> 